On May 7th, Child Protective Services showed up at my home. They questioned my husband and I. They questioned my child without me present. They searched our home and I've never expected such a violent, aggressive, vindictive thing could ever have been done to me or my family because I'm trying to earn a living, because I'm trying to work. My name is Lindsey Graham. Last year, amidst COVID-19 government-imposed lockdowns, I defied unconstitutional tyranny and was one of the first Americans to stand and publicly open my business. My governor targeted me and sent every state agency to threaten me into shutting down, including Child Protective Services. I'm going to stay open as long as I can until the government basically tries to take my entire career, something I've worked 15 years for, out from underneath me. That's the most harmful thing they could have done, and I think that's why they did it. My story soon became national news, and it was a catalyst in my family's life. BLM and leftists threatened to burn down my salon and I made a call for arms, and 300 men and women arrived in downtown to protect the community. Once again, I was persecuted, as my liberal community called me a racist, white supremacist, and of course, a patriot mommy. My salon was vandalized. I feared my own city, and I was receiving hateful, threatening messages. We were not safe in our own home. In a life-altering moment, we were forced to start new careers and with faith, prayed that God would bless us on our new journey. He did. He started putting people in our life that would set the course for our family to start fresh, be successful, and thrive. God gave me a voice and a platform to tell my story, share my testimony, and glorify Him. God allowed me to look persecution in the face and embrace it. He emboldened me for what had been one of the most traumatizing experiences of my life. He has cleared a way for me to speak loudly and boldly for Him with conviction and without apology. I was tried in the fire and survived. I was persecuted and he blessed me. This is my calling and God has redeemed me so that I can fulfill his plan. Have I not commanded you? Go forth and be courageous for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Here, because yes, I'm 